is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel today we're taking the audi r8 v10 plus on its drive home we just took delivery we drove half a mile to have dinner and it's time to finally experience the uh, v10 in this amazing audi r8 man i love this thing just look at it it's just absolutely sick in this solar orange color the wife is going to be following me in the truck let's get on the road yes <laughs> and this thing again it's so nice interior wise amazing very minimalistic we just have like climate control buttons here we have a little storage compartment down there traction control buttons and I haven't even figured this out the rotary dial to control everything I don't even know how this virtual cockpit works yet two cup holders right there look at that we got a little key holder thing right there let's start her up <laughs> yes. <laughs> See what I noticed already now though that is kind of annoying if you have a bottle in there it, you, you know you don't have any room for your elbows so we're just going to leave it here. Whatever. Uh put it in sport so yeah that's manual and then there's a view button here. All right, we'll do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, not a lot of room back here, but it's all good. Stereo is supposed to be like super nice. You know, I, I can't demonstrate this because I'll get demonetized, but out of all the supercars that I've been in, in my life, this definitely has the best stereo. It's a banging Olufsen, it's actually what I have in the truck too, but oh god, I'm gapping about boring stuff. Let's drive it. Oh, oh, oh. And this this thing is so fast. And I don't even know how to drive it properly yet. The thing is fast. Look at that, I figured out CarPlay. It's right in the middle here. This is so dope. Making sure that wife is behind me here, and she is. If I start losing her now, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, pressing all the buttons and stuff, trying to figure everything out, and I noticed I didn't even have the uh, uh, exhaust in sport. So now it's standard. Look at that, what a difference that is. And there's cops everywhere. thing is seriously fast where it's a true beast though is from a standstill so we'll see what happens in the future we might have to supercharge this thing okay a little weird transition in the video but look at that first time in the garage in a video the solar orange audi r8 v10 plus man have i said it already this thing looks so Good, and the reason why we're home is because yesterday when we were driving home on the turnpike, I was driving with wifey as well, it wasn't really the perfect timing to uh, film the driving portion of the R8 because I had to, you know, keep the speed limit, that kind of thing. So we're gonna do it right now. We got beautiful weather outside, and this car is just so, so much smaller than the F12 was. I have like all this room here. I can get by right here. You know, on video, this looks super, tight but it, it's really not when the Ferrari was here it was like over here oh we got some fuel injection going on there look at that Audi Sport <laughs> so it's not crazy loud on a cold start and it's going to get a lot louder, by the way, because FI is sending me an exhaust. It's on its way already. But it's so loud when you rev it. So one thing that I've noticed is that I think this car has an extremely tiny gas tank. Because <laughs> I drove home yesterday. It's only 120 miles. It wasn't completely full, but we're pretty much empty. So first things first, before we take it out on the road and, and properly drive it, got to get some gas and we'll see uh, how much it takes. I don't know how you open the gas cap. Gotta be a button here somewhere. That's a pretty sweet car. Thank you. Okay. My kids would be obsessed with that. <laughs> 
All right, gas cap, gas cap. So that's for the front. I don't see a button for the gas cap. What the hell is it? Heated seats, traction control. So my, my dumbass, you just push it. <laughs> so we put 15 gallons in there and it wasn't completely empty. So it's at least like a 16, 17 gallon tank, which isn't too bad. I got 17 miles per gallon when I drove home yesterday. So it actually isn't horrible on fuel if you're driving like normal. <laughs> All right, so I promise we're gonna do some proper driving here. I stopped at my buddy Mike's house. You guys know him from uh, my videos before. And his awesome BMW M8 that's tuned now. It has like 750 horsepower and he's raining on my parade because it's probably faster than my car. <laughs> <laughs> As of right now. As of right now, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little tune on this. On these cars you get like 30 horsepower, but then uh, possibly we're gonna supercharge it and then I'll spank Mike. But yeah, we're gonna take both cars out for a little spin. You ready, Mike? Absolutely. Uh, before we do that, <laughs> I figured out how to open this engine bay glass cover thing and check this out. So like just with the Ferrari, I lucked out like the original owner checked pretty much every box. So we got the carbon engine bay here as well. We got carbon over here, carbon right here, and on the sides there, and all the way back. Look at that V10, beautiful. All right, so it's time for the first proper launch control. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got my foot on the brake, pedal to the metal. Wrong. That's dynamic. Woo! I didn't get launch control to work, but dang, this thing is fast. All right, we'll try it again here. It's supposed to be just in dynamic, foot on the brake. Yeah, it's not doing it. I'm trying to get launch control figured out. I figured it out yesterday, but now for some reason it won't work. It's supposed to. Oh, now it wasn't. The traction control wasn't off. So now here we go. Here we go. acceleration I've ever experienced from a dig. I've driven faster cars that, like for roll racing and stuff like that, but from a dig with this all-wheel drive, that is nuts. So aggressive, holy crap! <laughs> aggressive I love it that is why I wanted a car like this all-wheel drive nasty launches holy crap all right so you guys of course have to experience this from a POV standpoint so check this out pedal to the metal oh. Alright, so I think I short shift a little bit. We'll do this again. I mean, it is so disgustingly fast from a standstill. Launches are pretty freaking nasty, dude. Yeah, it's I mean, awesome. you, you know what it is because you got that, that BMW, but dang. For me, this is the most aggressive launches I've ever done in my life. This is all with drive. Oh yeah, it, it. it sounds, when you got the launch control right, it sounded right at all. Yeah. The exhaust sounded really good. Yeah, pop in. All right, so Mike's gonna be the first guy besides myself to drive my brand new car that I've only owned for less than 24 hours. Because we need some uh, proper rollers of the car. I haven't even seen the car on the road myself because I keep driving it. So uh, I'm gonna get to drive Mike's 750 horsepower 
M8. It's not yeah. not too bad of a swap. No, it's not. I have to say, it's, it's pretty different. nice. Different. Yeah, it's, it's different. Different. It's different. All right, here we go. What do you think, Mike? It's awesome. I'm, once again, the transmission by yeah. far is so much nicer than the ZF. Yeah, dual clutch uh, all day long. That's a good transmission, but it's not a dual clutch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wonder what these guys are going to say. I don't know. I just wanted to get a picture. Is yours? Yeah, yeah, this is my new car. Nice. I'm a nice truck driver stopping by here. Just want to take a picture of the new whip. What's, what's your name? Truck Rob. Rob, nice to meet you, man. Thanks. Nice meeting you, dude. You too. Yep. Nice meeting take you, Take care. Man. Watching your channel. All right. So anyhow, we're going to have plenty of time to do a bunch of driving clips and stuff of uh, the car. we got to get it home now and get it washed up, believe it or not, because it's a bug splash fest from driving it home yesterday on the front windshield in the front of the car. Because the car actually is getting dropped off today it's gonna be at Motorama in Pittsburgh from the 9th uh, through the 11th, I think it is, this month, of course. So if you guys wanna come see the car in person, come to the convention center in Pittsburgh from the 9th to the 11th. But let's get home. Well, there's a first time for everything. Repetitive content. Woohoo! <laughs> I love it! It's gonna get louder, though. We arrived at the convention center. We're gonna line up all our cars over there. We got non-monetizable music in the background, so I'm gonna have to cut it off right now. Check out Denny's Aventador. He redid his wheels. Got a little orange contrast there. Looks great, black on black. We got GT2 RS Diablo 48, my car, Gallardo 720S. This is gonna be an awesome time. Come down this weekend between the 9th and the 11th. Tons of cool cars. Look at all these trucks. We got another first gen R8 over here. Pink Mustang, that's what's up. Bunch of cool stuff. Dude, this, this car is seriously fast, man. That is crazy. <laughs> so we're leaving the convention center uh, for today. It starts tomorrow, which is before this video is even live. So that's kind of weird, but <laughs> anyhow, I'll let you guys know on Instagram as well. Uh, to come down here, check out the cars. It's tons of different uh, vehicles like trucks and, and freaking Japanese modified video everything exotics come check it out i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video more videos coming on the r8 with my we might have to take a little trip to mexico maybe maybe, maybe. see you guys in the next one